Guys, do you see, uh, do you hear me? I don't know, from my side it says streaming, but I don't see any uh, screen. Am I heard? Do you hear me? I'm not sure what's happening. Let us see what's happening. It says I am live, but I don't see anything live, which is a strange. Okay, how we can fix this? I uh, know. Am I heard, guys? Can you see me? Uh, do you hear me? Am I heard? I'm not sure if anyone can hear me or not. Anyone can hear me? Look like it's not working. And okay, it's working. Okay, I don't know why it was showing not working. I apologize for this. Uh, um, uh, Google, they stop using Hangout on air, and I I'm not sure really sure not what working. what was this. this uh, uh, and now I hear myself uh, twice. Okay, I just turn this off. All right. So look like there is a different uh, format for YouTube now. Uh, we are not using Hanging Out. Anyway, uh, peace of Christ to all of you. May the Lord bless you all. And today we start with the art of music because we were trying to figure out what's happening. So with this, let us start. All right. Well, it is time. It is time for us men to take our rights. It's time for men to be protected. Imagine you are walking down the street and you see a beautiful woman. And because she is beautiful, there is a risk on you. You are under threat. It is time. Finally, it is time. I was always saying to myself, when the time will come, when the time will come and we men will be protected from those women. And finally, thanks to Allah and his religion, time had come, my friend. Finally. A senator who is from militia he is very genius and he is following a lot teaching and I will show you why he is saying this. PKR, Senator, I'm not sure what PKR mean. I'm, I'm not, I have no idea. I hope it's not something sexual because I think this Senator is a, is a, I think this guy is really worried about his health 
and women are really big a threat for him. And, you know, I'm really disappointed of him because here he mentioned about men raping women. What about protecting men from being raped by, by women? I mean, come on. You're a genius. So the senator, uh, Moot, Moots, his name is Moots, uh, his senator Moots, Moots law, what, what Moots law mean? To protect men from being seduced into raping women. Me. Finally. Finally, we are going to be protected. Hey, brothers and sisters, you are walking down the street and you see a woman like this. She have lipstick. Moots mean a propose. Oh, thank you for translating for me. My English is weak. My English is the same as the Hadith. It's weak. Islam is weak and my English is weak. So you are walking in the street and a woman, she have lipstick. How disgusting. Or she have some uh, eyeliner or makeup or, you know. And then you are being tempted. Who is going to protect you now? Who is going to protect us, Mui men? It is time. It is time, alhamdulillah. It is time. I'm going to move to Malaysia, my friend. Because look like in this country now, according to this idiot, when a man he rape a woman, it's not the fault of the man. I mean, the guy is a victim, isn't it obvious? All rapists now, they are going to move to this country. Because this is the only country will protect them by the will of Allah and the guidance and the wisdom of Islam. Brother. I mean, can you even imagine how far the stupidity can go just to explain to you what does that mean what about we make a law to forbid banks from having money in the bank because the bank is seducing me to rob the bank what about we make law to stop women being beautiful so we make a surgery for every woman to be ugly because this is the only way to stop men then not to be seduced by women What about we make a law, it says, uh, uh, you know, nobody is allowed to buy makeup, use makeup, perfume, nice clothing, because this is all we seduced to rape. And by the way, I'm really upset from women. I mean, look at the women. I'm not going to talk about me, how I look like. God forbid none of you look like me. I hope not. And if you look like me, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not even fair. Look at them. And look at us. We men. I mean, so finally, somebody is thinking about our health. We are being tortured. And we are being victimized. And men are not protected. And everybody want to protect the women. And now, by the help of Allah, we are going to be protected. I hope the rapists will not hear this news because all of them, they will move to this country now. Because anyone who rape a woman now, he'll say, hey, she seduced me. And by the way, this idea is not coming from this idiot. There's a bigger idiot than him. And let me show you. This is the bigger one. Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, may Allah please uh, with him, peace on him, uh, peace on him, uh, sees a woman and attracted to her. Like, what the heck? See what women do? 
See what do you what women do to the prophet, brother? Prophet is sitting in front of his door. Like imagine walking down the street, la 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 and then a woman walk by you and you are attracted to her. The prophet is a victim here. Isn't it obvious? So he go to his wife or his slave women. This is the this is the title. This is the title. Look look at the title. Should I hit my head in the wall? What is the wall? I cannot hit my wall head in the wall because then the Muslim they will make a law saying the wall seduced him to hit his head in the wall. So the title is if a man he is see a woman and he is attracted to her, he go to his wife or his slave women and have a boom boom. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger and look at the decoration after the name of Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah Himself is a praying on him. I mean, that isn't it obvious? So a woman, and so he came to his wife Zainab. Mm -hmm. Zainab, is that the same one he kidnapped from his own son? Yes, brother. And as she was tanning leather, the poor woman, she is sweating, she is doing tanning leather, and she like heating boiling water, and had sexual intercourse with her. Look at this camel. This woman, she is working. He came now because he saw he just saw a woman. He cannot stop. Once I was riding a horse, very very beautiful horse, you know, a Arabian horse. And I was a kid, and then I don't know what happened to this horse. Suddenly he started jumping and going crazy, and he saw why because he saw a female, beautiful female horse. Oh boy. And I, I do not know what to do. I mean, I have no idea. I was a very, I think I was maybe seven years old or eight years old. And the horse is really big and beautiful horse. And supposedly it was a surprise to me from my dad. And uh, the horse went so crazy. And I don't know what's happening. Like, what's happening? <laughs> this is Muhammad. Muhammad the horse. He saw a woman, he cannot stop. That's it. And then he went to his companion and he told them, uh-huh, what he told them? The women. The women advances and retires in the shape of the devil. See, brother, I told you. There's two things in life we should practice from now on, according to the prophet. Either we blame the Jews or we blame the women. Actually, why we are going farther? Let me show you Muhammad blaming the Jews and the women in one statement. Do you believe it? Here we go. The Prophet said, Well, it's not Bani Israel, meaning children of Israel. Meat would not decay. And where, if not for Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. How disgusting. All the problem in the world, according to Muhammad, it's coming from two sources. Either the Jews or women. Wisdom. That's so deep. That's so deep. I mean, when when the word will come to the time we learn from the wisdom of the prophet? There is two source of problems. The Jews and women. And will make it more crazy if you are a Jew and the women in the same time, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. What is that? So the Prophet of Islam, he blamed himself not for being horny and going like a camel jumping over his wife when she is doing business, not respecting that this is not the time for this. Why? Because a woman, she just walk by. I mean, how dare you? How dare you to walk by the Prophet? Bani mean children's. Bani 
many children. So the woman advances and retires in the shape of a devil. So when one of you sees a woman, he should come to his wife, for that will reveal what he feels in his heart. Look at this wisdom. So this uh, senator, he learned from his prophet that women who they are uh, beautiful or wearing, uh, let us say, clothes, which is supposedly with seduced men, they are the devil. And they are the problem, not the rapist. <clears throat> but you know, remember this, that if this is a true, that means all the crimes in the world have an excuse. If we give an excuse to the rapist that the woman she is beautiful or wearing, you know, uh, let us say, uh, revealing clothing, well, anything is revealing to a criminal is an excuse then. If I see money in the hand of somebody and then I rob him, that's mean it's his fault. I'm seduced. If you have a big house, I don't have one, and then I go to take your house, well, I'm seduced. If you have a car, I don't have a car, or your car is a brand new, and my car, like my car, is a you know my, my car is an old donkey. I call it donkey, by the way. Once I was talking to my mom, and she said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm driving my donkey." And then she called me five minutes after. She said, "Why you are, why you are riding a donkey?" I said, "Mom, this is my car. This is what I call it." She took it serious. She thought, really, she said, what happened to her son? He went to America and now he switched the donkeys. Uh, what we will do now? We have to make excuses for, what if somebody, he gets seduced when he see a knife to kill people? Me. What if somebody, he gets seduced uh, mm, by uh, by seeing fire, so he liked to burn people. I mean, what is that? What is this wisdom? Hmm. That's so good. And here you see how the the Islamic cult always painted the women that she is the evil one. And, you know, somebody might say to you, the Bible says that Eve is the one seduced her husband or plained for sin. That's not true. Eve and Adam, both of them, they committed sin because Adam is not forced to agree and he agree. And here, Islam is not teaching that. Islam teaching that it's only the fault of Adam in the Bible, when they commit sin, both of them, they are punished. And both of them plain for the sin. Here, as you see, the women, she advances and retires in the shape of a devil. And look here how ugly this image is. Muhammad, he claimed that a beautiful woman, she is nothing but the devil. For what reason? Nothing, except that she is a woman. And here we need to remember that if the woman she advance and in the shape of a devil and she retire in the shape of the devil, that's mean your mom, your sister, your wife, everybody. I mean women are not coming from different galaxy. You might be born yourself as a woman. I mean, it's just a, just a little a DNA change and will change you from a male into female. Which means by skin, by blood, you know, there's a, there's a woman inside you. Because you have the same skin, the same blood, the same things you, you took from your mom. Even if you are a male. And what about women being seduced by men? 
What if a woman, she saw a handsome man and she raped him? Should we make a law to protect women from being seduced by men? Stupidity is really amazing. It goes beyond stupidity, actually. Here we notice that the one uh, who is coming with this idea is just trying to cleanse his reputation from being a perverted man. Why a man? You see, the Muslims, they say to you that we as a Muslims, we've been ordered if a woman she walk by, not to look. Was Muhammad a person who don't look? Muhammad, he went to his own son, wife, when she was married and she is alone in the house and he flirted with her and he said to her in Arabic, Subhana mu'alliful qulu. Praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. Flirting with her. Not only he seduced he flirt, which means he is the one is seducing her actually because the woman she did nothing, she is at home. The woman she is in her home, and she is supposedly the son wife. So whatever she was wearing at home, how a father in law can be seduced by his own daughter. What about this guy? In his house, he have a beautiful daughter. Does that mean he's going to rape her because she is maybe wearing revealing clothes? Because she is his daughter who lives in his house? You see the stupidity? When a rapist, he rape a woman, he knew whatever the woman she is, that he is committing a crime and she is being beautiful or she is wearing revealing clothes will not change the fact that he is committing a crime and he knew that so why you want to protect the rapist and punish the women actually there's a woman in uh, I think it was an Emirat she was punished in jail because the accuser that she is the one was wearing, not wearing actually, she was walking alone in a, like an um, dark like street or something, and that gave the idea to the rapist. Three men, they jump on her, they put her in the car, and they rape her. And then the Muslim judge, he decided that she is the problem. It was her fault. How we can accept such a thing? What what happened to the human brain? I mean, what what happened to us? How stupid we can be more than this? Muhammad is a child molester. So should we punish Aisha for seducing the Prophet? I think it was Aisha. Otherwise, what make a man at the age of 54 think about Aisha? Maybe at that time Aisha, she was wearing short skirt and Muhammad, he saw her legs. And we should punish Aisha for seducing the Prophet? This is nothing but a shame. But as usual, wherever Islam goes, madness go with it. In Saudi Arabia, if a woman she walk alone in the street, she is breaking the law. Why? Because Islamic society, Islamic mentality, Islamic religion teach the men to believe that women are private part. And anyone see a private part will grab that one. Because of that mentality, a woman, she is not secure in Saudi Arabia. 
So she needs a guardian to be with her. Guardian. Why I need a guardian in an Islamic religious society? And why women do not need a guardian in non-Islamic society? Now, by the way, rape happened everywhere, not only in those countries. There was rape, it's, there's the criminals. But generally speaking, you know, let us say not 99% of women, they go every day and come back home and nothing happened to them. We can say from every maybe million women, maybe one woman get raped by a stranger. Because in the West, by the way, if you even force your wife into sex, this is a rape. In Islam, this is not. So you might hear like in 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 the in USA there is etc case of rape you will find a huge number of them is a girlfriend or a wife filing report against the husband that he raped her Do you see the difference In Islam a man he can force his wife if you remember we spoke before about this case where a man he did beat his wife until he made her skin greener greener than her clothes and this is a story in front of you why because she is refusing to go with him to bed the prophet he took the side with the man and he gave him chapter 4 verse number 34 saying men are in control of women and they have the right to scourge them How in the world this is can be accepted to be from God? How we can accept such? How you as a Muslim? What if you as a Muslim man and your sister walking in the street and then an idiot criminal he decide that your wife or your sister she seduced him. How? Maybe by the way she walk. And maybe because she have a beautiful body. Because, you know, it doesn't matter really if a woman, she wear a burqa or she wear a short skirt. It is all in the brain. If you are thinking about that person in a sexual way, for sure clothes can help to give, bring ideas. This is absolutely true. But if you are not thinking about it, you will not think about it. And to make it simple for you, what if you one day... You have a daughter, you open the door of your bedroom and your daughter changing her clothes. And she is very beautiful and she is young. Let us say she is 18, 20. Are you going to rape her? Are you going to be a camel? Or you will see nothing because simply she is your daughter. What about you open the door and you see your mother? Maybe she is very beautiful too. And she is young still. And she just take, came out from the shower. Accidentally, you open the door and she is almost naked or wearing revealing clothes. Are you going to jump on her? Or you will refrain from committing such a crime? Why you don't think about those in such a way? Because she is your mother, so your brain right away block it from your head. She is your daughter. Your brain will block that idea from your head. So it's about what you think, not about what you see, really. If you let your brain lose with the idea, then the brain will go with it. And as you see, the woman she is refusing to sleep with the husband, Muhammad, he supported the man who did beat his wife until he made her skin greener than her clothes. And as you see, Muhammad, he claimed that women are the problem, the same as the Jews. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, Islam is not anti-Judaism uh, or Jews or etc., they say Islam is a mutual religion, uh, is not racist. It's not. This is racist. 
the Jews are a race, not only a religion. When you claim that all problem in the world is coming just from the Jews, that means you are racist. And Islam is a sexist. When you claim that all women, they are bad because of Eve, that means all of women, they are Eve, and all of them, they are bad. What else you want? What else, what else more we need to prove Islam to be an ugly cult? When Muhammad is see a woman and he claimed that women, they retire in the shape of a devil and they come in the shape of the devil, he just told the Muslims that always think about the women in such a way. So now if a Muslim man, he see a woman and he do what, what Muhammad did, he will not blame himself. By the way, Muhammad himself, he did rape many women. Right? Do we have any Muslim have any comment, anything to say? I'm really disgusted when I saw this uh, news and I find it very, very, uh, very savage and very stupid and very uh, wrong. And I believe that all of us, we should stand against such a teaching because that's mean we are going to blame the women for whatever bad things happen you know can women seduce a man yes she can but there's women they are not wearing nicer clothes because they want to seduce you my friend there's women they are wearing nicer clothes because they like to look nice there's women they are putting makeup because they like to look beautiful and all women like that I never saw women, at least those weird though, there are some of them, they are weird though, they don't like, they they think if a woman, she put makeup, she is a, a you know, I mean, the, the feminist uh, movement, they have a cr crazy ideas. I saw like there's an article, they are saying that women should not shave hair under her arm, so they can be equal with men. <laughs> and what I don't know what that means. I mean, how how by not shaving hair under arm will make you equal to the men? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, there are some weird people between men and women. But put those in the side. If a woman, she dress nicely, she is not dressing for you. She is going the street and thousands of people will see her, not only you. If she dressed nicely, or let us say in a revealing clothes and came into your house, man, then she is coming to you. But even then, you have no right to rape her. That is a stupid excuse. Because the difference between us and animals, that we are a human who have a brain, and we make decisions, and we will be taken accountable for our decisions. So if you rape a woman, it means you made the decision to rape, not the woman she invited you to rape her, really. Even if she is wearing whatever clothes she is wearing, where is your brain? Are you a donkey? Are you a horse? Are you an elephant? Are you a mule? Or you are a human? The only thing that, you know, differentiate between men, human, and animals that we have a brain to control ourselves. So raping women is an animal behavior. It's somebody decided to act like one, like an animal, not like a human. And when you act like a human, you deserve the punishment and the penalty for that, not the women. But as you see, in the Islamic agenda women are the reason for everything wrong I don't know what will happen to the Muslims if they see the sweater now 
according to this guy. I mean, the senator himself, if he saw this woman, she is if uh, she look Asian. Are you saying if you see this woman, you will? Uh, oh boy, what this man will do if he see a woman? It is the woman fault. Look, she is beautiful. She, we should shave her hair so she will not look like a woman. And then we should uh, uh, ask her to make her eyes smaller and we will change the look of her nose and uh, we'll take his, her eyebrows and then that will not make her seduce any man. But even if you do that, there's, there's, there's people, they will be seduced. There is people, they will be seduced even by a goat. Even by a donkey. So what we will do? Very, very, very ugly teaching. There's videos I saw them, you know, and during the Iraq war, you know, the, the American, they are watching everything around them at night and nobody, they think nobody can see them at night. And you will see a guy, he is doing shish kebab with the donkey. You believe it? With the donkey? There we go. He's he been seduced by the donkey. So now we should punish the donkey. Actually, Muhammad, he said so. Very disgusting logic. Women, they are created in a way to be beautiful. And even men, they have their own beauty too. Which means God created beauty for men and beauty for women. Women, they like men to be, look like men. And women like to be, like, I mean, the reason men he like them, because simply they are women. So this is very normal. So now what we will do? What about we make the women look like men? And now we make a law, the law, this law in front of us says, if you are a rapist, go rape. Because all what you can do, it says, this woman, she seduced me. I look her, you know, I look at her and she was whatever. I saw something. I saw something on her seducing me. very stupid but this has shown us how dangerous this cult is because it's involved law and criminalizing the victims not the criminals because the whole purpose of this law now is making the victim the criminal and the criminal the victim so Islamic religion flip things upside down to make what's wrong right and what's right wrong it's right for the women to be look like a woman God created her a woman what she will do and now any man he can blame the women for seducing him he can claim anything he can say this woman she have a nice voice this woman, she have nice hands. Uh, this woman, uh, you know, there is, there is, there is. A, once I enter a chat room in Arabic in Paltok, it have a, like hundreds of people. It used like this is a long time ago, and this room was going crazy. Like I, was, I became curious to know what's happening. Why this room is so big? I went there, and everybody in the text says, "Can you move the camera to the left? Can you move it to the right? Little bit up." And I and I click at this uh, the 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 person who is they are asking to uh, to show the camera. There is a woman. She is showing her foot. Her foot. Hundreds of Abdul watching a woman's foot, and they are going crazy. So what we will do now? A woman she cannot use her foot because her foot will be playing for. Uh, or a rape it was your foot if you don't uh, show your foot nobody will rape you 
what if a, what what if a man he like uh, women fingers you know there's crazy ideas in the in the you know there's people they like things crazy stuff there's men they like somebody to beat them there's you know there's all kind of uh, uh, sexual fantasy which is crazy maybe a man he like a woman wearing burqa he get excited with that actually women wearing burqa they can seduce men more than women they are not because that create a mystery behind the veil you want to see what is behind the veil you are curious to see who is this person behind the veil I remember you know I was in the Philippine and Abdul he came I was in the beach and you know always I take like a side where there's not many people there as much as possible so I walk far away and I start swimming in that area and then this Abdul supposedly he's choosing a place where not many people are there he jumped exactly in front of me in the beach and he keep coming him and his wife his wife wearing burqa swimming with the burqa and then he told me can you stay away imagine why I want to stay away I said I, I was here before you what about you go away he said but I am with my wife I said so what if you are where you are <laughs> you know <laughs> it's an ocean go why you came here I'm here before you so you came just in the front of me and you came direction to me and now you are asking me to leave just because you have a female with you and you think what do you think all of us but people will be looking at your wife so he got angry he told her get out get out get out and she get out and guys you see everything because the burqa now is stuck underneath she is wearing nothing so she can swim so when she came out from the water you see everything she is totally like naked so men they can they can claim anything they can claim burqa women she seduce him if you look at women muslim women hijab the way they dress let me give you an idea for sure not all muslim women they dress like that Okay. We are trying to find uh, pictures which is not. <clears throat> what is that? I search for Muslim women. I got nothing but naked women. I mean, we cannot show that. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me. I, I got an idea. This is the wife of the Prince of Qatar. You can tell this woman she spent a lot of money on her makeup and her beautification. She have fake lips, fake face, fake nose, fake eyes. I mean, you name it. This woman, she is in the stage because she is rich and she have a lot of money. And by the way, her name is Banana. Moza. So imagine there is a man, he like banana, tiny perfume she used cost like seven, ten thousand dollars at least. And she walk by him. And she have you know like a, she have she have a good looking body and with all the the beautification surgeries she do already I think her belly balm is uh, is in her chest from the surgeries because she keeps stretching her skin to stay young. And he said, I like banana, and he decided to do something to her. Are we going to blame the women or we blame the guy? Muslim women, when they dress Islamic clothes, they dress specifically clothing which seduce men. 
it's not really you see it's not it's not revealing clothes necessarily will make men get your attention or get the attention look at them like there is there is pictures I can show but uh, uh, I'm trying like uh, to use like uh, uh, free to use not like uh, with copyright let us see something else Well, we cannot show you the rest actually. Forget it. This Google is crazy. You search for something, you find something more crazy. Okay, forget it. So today, actually, uh, you know, this is what we wanted to talk about. And as you see, this is really crazy and this is not right. And women are not the one to blame. It is you know if the woman she proving to be guilty in something then okay prove it like if a woman she take off her clothes naked in front of a man <clears throat> and she jump with him in the bed and now he is getting naked and now suddenly she is saying to him oh you cannot do it even in this point by law you don't have the right to do anything to her even if she is naked next to you because any sexual activities have to be by agreement of both parties. So if you force yourself, even in a girlfriend, she slept with you maybe 1,000 times before. Even your wife, who is lawfully your wife. You cannot force her into sex. What if your wife, in the bedroom, she changed her clothes and she got naked? What do you do? Do you jump on her and you rape her? If you don't want, in Islam you can do that. But righteous man, he knew that his wife should not be raped. How dare you to do that? Forcing someone into anything is wrong. What about sex? You see, when a man he rape a woman, that means the animal inside him is doing that. And any kind of sexual relationship is not a joy between two. It is pure animal behavior. Especially if it's only male doing that. Which means the women, she don't want that. It's disgusting actually. So I don't know really how how the Muslims they can accept such a thing. How you can accept that your sister one day she will be blamed for seducing a man who raped her. What do you feel? Think about it. Think about it, Muslims. Your sister she is walking down the street, and because supposedly she is wearing clothes which is nice, not saying not necessarily showing her legs by the way, because a man who is you see what is seducing is the bent in the country I just go give an idea that you know a woman she show her foot they were going crazy like now they have satellite and things change so before in Saudi Arabia if a woman she walk and her dress when she walk show a little of her skin this is this is tempting for the man supposedly why because you don't see skin everything is covered so if the woman she is grabbing something from the guy she is buying whatever tomato potato and he see little of her hand that is tempting so actually islamic clothes bring more temptation not the opposite because when you separate between man and women you make the women more of something the man seek imagine you put a man in jail for 20 years and then one day you bring a woman to his room 
maybe not necessarily depend on the person he might act like an animal and he rape her because he did not see women for almost 20 years so when you grow in a society where women are nothing but a sexual target and the proof that they are a sexual target you cover them why you cover them because simply they are a sexual uh, the whole woman for you is a is a is a is a sex toy and by making her or forcing her to wear burqa you made her a mysterious wanted sexual target and this is why you see many of those who go to different countries from different culture and they see women suddenly wearing bikini or etc they, they go into rape like what happened in England, what happened in Germany, what happened in Holland. You allow the man to come to you from the middle of nowhere, from a culture he never saw any kid women before maybe. He never had sex with the women before. He never saw a woman wearing short. And then you let him go in the street. And then those ideas, those men, they will think that women who dress like this, they are whore. Otherwise, why she is dressing like this? This is how you would think. If a woman she is wearing a short, that means she's a bad woman. If you go to Brazil, women almost wearing nothing is a it's a normal normal clothing in Brazil. Those people they used to go totally naked before Christianity goes there. So if a woman wearing clothes revealing her you know her skin, short skirt, this is not this is not this is normal there. This is their clothes. But for a person who is coming from different culture, who he live in a culture where everybody wear a burqa, who when he walk in the street, he is looking at his wife and his daughter as if he is a guardian dog. Or, you know, like, are you looking? Where are you looking? What are you doing? Islam make you think in the wrong way about women. Islam think about women wrongly. Islam make women nothing but a sexual object. When the woman, she is your mother, and my mother, your sister, my sister, your daughter, my daughter, and she is maybe half or more of the society. And the second we make them a sexual object, we created a jungle where anyone can grab whatever he can, like animal world. And if we say to the man that you are raping a woman because she is beautiful or because she is wearing your revealing clothes, that means we are giving the right for every man. We are encouraging men simply to rape more women. Because this is what, the, what this, uh, this law will do. A woman, she will be raped. They will take them to the court. The man will say, she seduced me. And there's a law that says women or against women to wear uh, like a clothes which can be seducing or doing things. And who is the one who will decide what is seducing, by the way? The man. Who is this man? The crazy man who created this law. Which obviously you have a mentality of an animal. Because that's mean maybe if you have a long hair, you are seducing the man. If you have nice hands, you are seducing the man. If you have a nice voice, you are seducing the man. If you have a nice smell, you are seducing the man. If you wear high heels, you are seducing the man. So anything you do by being women, you are seducing a man. And that will make you not the victim, but the criminal. There is somebody, his name J10. He says, Mr. Korsh, he want to let me cause I am not a Muslim, wouldn't dare to talk about Christianity with me. Uh, G10, look like you are a very scary person, a scary person, especially you are J and 10. Is that coming from 10 germs together? And uh, why you want to talk to me about Christianity? 
what why you don't what you don't like about uh, Christianity, Mr. Germ Ten? Are you there, Mr. Germ? We are scared to talk to you about Christianity. Are you sure? Really, are you sure? It only talks two words. Okay, uh, go, go give us two words. Guys, two words can destroy Christianity. Uh, go ahead. Here we go. You see, we gave you the attention you are seeking. Look like you are a very dangerous germ. Give us the two words can destroy Christianity. By the way, he will not talk to me now. He was talking about, I am not letting him to attack Christianity. And now we challenge him to do so. Look, he will ignore me. Are you there, Mr. Germ? Well, I will give you three minutes to tell us the two words to prove it, to destroy Christianity, or I'm going to send you a free shipping and hand it into militia to this guy. I'm waiting for you. Time is ticking. Okay, get lost. Bunch of kids. Into brother and sister. I can destroy Christianity. Is that two words? Why? What's wrong with you? I that told you I can destroy Christianity in two words. Okay, I, we got that. We got it. What is the two words? In two words, and I cannot say them to you. Uh, why you cannot say that? Because if I say them, I'm going to destroy Christianity. Uh huh. So what we will do now? I cannot say them to you because if I destroy Christianity, then I will be blamed for raping women. Uh huh. Because they will say I'm seduced by Christianity to destroy Christianity. I mean, look at those idiots. Where are they come to me from? Is that a collection from the antique store? <clears throat> hmm? So, my friend, anyone, any man, any stupid, he blame women for rape is an idiot because rape simply is an act, ugly act, not just an act, ugly act of an animal, a person who cannot control himself. Why? Because he believe he have the right to rape a woman. It's the same as a person, like if, imagine if we say, you know, for anything, we, we can be seduced by anything around us. Not only women. What about somebody he been seduced by children? Who? Oh, that means he can rape children. Somebody is seduced by a donkey, uh, by the goat. Uh, somebody he want to rob a bank because seduced by the money. Uh, somebody can kill because he like uh, he was watching movies and he like shooting people. The stupid mentality is sick. And all of us who should stand against such a sickness. Anyone, he, you know, he defend rapist. You see, even, even in jail, even in jail, if somebody is a child molester, his life is in risk, which means even the criminals don't accept such a man. Even the criminals who do drugs, they kill people, etc. Still, even those, they have like a, a dignity where they cannot go that far. And this is exactly what's happening that Islam is teaching us that we blame the women for anything we do. Islam is anti women. Islam always making the women a bad person, as we see actually. How what what more bad than Muhammad describing women that she is shaitan himself, she is Satan. For this woman, she did nothing. She just walked by. She did know nothing. She's a Muslim woman wearing the burqa, walk by Muhammad, and she did nothing. Yet Muhammad claimed that women, all women. Not this women only, all women, 
they are the devil. So this is very dangerous and I wanted to make a, a topic about it because if we start thinking in such a way then we can make and give excuse for all kind of crimes we can do in our life. Always the crimes come from excuses. All the crimes. It doesn't matter what the crime is. Always there is a purpose of the crime. So if you steal the money of somebody, you have an excuse. You say, okay, he have money, I don't. Or I like to have more money. Here we go. You have excuse. Always, always, you know, in our mind, we have an excuse. But doesn't mean that the excuse is true. This is excuse to make us relax and feel good about what we do. So if you kill, if you rape, if you steal, always the excuse is ready. It's in your head. Otherwise, you will not do what you did. And now those people, they are trying to defend a false excuse claiming that the woman, she is the devil and she is the reason for man to do bad stuff. If you see a woman and she is beautiful and etc. and you know, you said you cannot control yourself. Why you cannot control yourself? Are you, even, even dogs, they control themselves. What do you mean? They want to turn this earth into a jungle where people do whatever they wish and then the victim will be blamed for what happened. And by the way, I'm sure that this guy, he will find a lot of supporters from the Abdul. A lot of Abdul will agree with him. There's a sheikh I remember in Australia, they were asking why a lot of uh, you know uh, rape crime happened from uh, from the Islamic society. He said, "Well, what do you expect if a woman she show her skin? What do you expect?" Well, women they show their skin in this society before you come there from your country, and nobody was raping them. What happened to you? And if Islam is a religion, make you a better person. Why the better person who follow Allah, he cannot control himself? Muslim, they claim that Islam teach you how to control yourself. And they give you an example of fasting. By the way, in Islam, they don't control themselves. They do the opposite. Four wives, unlimited numbers of wives. Four wives at the time together, which means you can have four every new day. Every five hours, every two hours, every five minutes. You can divorce four, marry four, unlimited. And when they fast, they fast not. They do the opposite. This is why Muslims in Ramadan, they gain weight. And the food price goes skyrocketing. Because of what they do, they switch upside down the day and the night. So they eat at night and they sleep at the daytime. And yet they say, we are fasting. And that's explained to us, by the way, why uh, Malaysia is now hosting Zakir Naik, who is wanted for terrorism, as I heard. This country is going mad. It's a small, tiny country, but obviously, it's going mad. This is what Islam can bring to your land. Your wife, she can be raped. Your sister can be raped. And we blame your sister for being raped. That what is this cult can do. Anyway, I'm not going to stay here for long. I want to wish you a good time. And uh, uh, maybe later uh, during the day, I might go live on air again. Uh, YouTube, they change the way they do streaming. That's why it took me a little bit of time to figure out how it works. Uh, I will try to go live again, which means today, if not late at night. And until then, I want to say thank you guys for being here. 
and don't listen to those idiots and don't do what they say and don't believe in such a garbage a man a man who gave himself excuses for a crime that will not change the fact that it is a crime all the crimes have excuses if you want to look for one anything we do in our life we can give it an excuse regardless if it's bad or good and always your excuse will be ready always it is you who God he gave him a gift it's called the brain so you can make decision and then by making decision you will pay the price of what you do you see if the law of Islamic law protecting you from because you abuse women and that law protecting you then one day you will stand in the front of our Lord and he will punish you for abusing women God he created Adam and Eve and Eve was created to be the spouse of Adam but all, both of them the Bible called them Adam and the women she is created as a human being not as a sex toy and this is why God he created Adam and Eve not Adam and Eve's one man one woman to be a family and sexual uh, 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 like uh, a pleasure was a gift from God so the man and the women they will like the idea to have sex so they can reproduce you see uh, when God he punished Adam and Eve out of heaven you will see they have children not inside the heaven they have children out of the heaven because in heaven they have eternal life when they are out of heaven their eternal life is given from them but God he gave them other option that you can live and continue by a reproduction it is a new form of eternity so your cells and your body your blood will transform into another human being you die he live and then his children live so we are children's of children's of children's of children's which mean God really don't want us to die even though we deserve to die so while the God of our belief he was merciful to the point he gave us opportunity to reproduce and sexuality was a gift but not to abuse the God of Islam abusing that gift in this case is Muhammad the God of Islam blaming women for being beautiful to be evil and to be the devil which is absolutely stupid because not only man can be seduced by women women can be seduced by men too who told you that women have no eyes who told you that women they don't have a feeling who told you that women they cannot be tempted so why we judge the women we don't judge the man stupidity is the most thing I hate in my life it's really disgusting and Islam encourage us to be stupid and not to use our like uh, the normal gift God he gave us to to go with what what makes sense what is right you see human being being given inside him a kind of ability to make judgment even if you are a cave time even if you are a person who never heard the Bible still God he created you with certain knowledge where you can make a judgment and Islam will take that from you sadly we don't have any Muslim want to say anything otherwise we will be willing to take calls do we have any Muslim want to say anything if there's any Muslim would like to call me in Skype if there is any Muslim, I'm willing to take your call, by the way. Anyone?
Yeah, somebody sent me pictures in uh, in uh, in Skype, but we cannot show them. You know. Yeah, and you know, I mean, uh, you know, sometime like. Uh, uh, let me show you this picture. Those are girls wearing hijab. They are Muslims, but look at their look at their short skirt. All right. So now, according to this guy, those women, if they are raped, according to this idiot, uh, they are the reason. You know, they are the reason. Because they are wearing a skirt and they are showing their legs and by the way I find it funny I mean what the point of this hijab if you are wearing such a short skirt but I will tell you what's happening here most of Muslim women the second they go and leave the country they go to the bathroom and they change their clothes like I remember when I was uh, in a school uh, we travel from city to city and we were two guys in the front it's like a taxi you know so like uh, the taxi driver he says uh, either you wait and we take other three with us because we have uh, it's only two us two of us uh, or you pay for the whole taxi he said we know we wait so we waited <clears throat> and then three girls like exactly like those girls but they were wearing hijab to the point you can see nothing even there is a hat under the the, the hijab which means their hair cannot be seen through and wearing long clothes etc and then uh, the, he dropped them in a city in our way and the driver he said okay we have to wait now so we can get another three person to replace their seat otherwise if you want we can continue but you pay for the other three we said no we wait we waited in the in the the the, the, the like the company uh, the taxi office and uh, three girls they came and they said to the guy his name is Abu Muhammad they said to him we forgot something in your trunk the guy he said oh no no you did not come with me he said no 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 we came with you he said no 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 you did not come with me the girls who came with me they are wearing hijab wearing niqab we can see their we cannot see their face and look this is not you those girls they are wearing like a Spanish style dresses showing their chest showing their shoulders like there's no hijab you know like what happened he said no 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 yes this is us you know well, this is us and this is what they do so they jump just to different city they are going to school in different city their parents is not there the second they go there they change all their clothing they just arrive they went home they changed their clothes and now they found something missing that little bag is missing so they came to take it back but the, neither us neither the driver and, and the driver he could not believe it he says no you did not come with me and then she, they start telling him about things he was saying about his family to us because he was talking to us you know we are the men talking to him in the front they start saying to him you told them about your son what he's doing blah 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 you know the guy he could not believe it and then we we went this driver he says I will never let my daughter go to study in different school in different city but this is because Muslim they force their women to behave in a way they don't they are not convinced with so they force them to wear certain clothes and when the second they get their freedom you see my friend freedom is the key to know the person give him a freedom women in Islamic society even though they live in the West, they don't have a freedom because they live in their society. Give them a freedom to go away and nobody knows them. And then you will see a totally different person. You see a guy in Saudi Arabia, he work as a work as a sheikh, he grow his beard, etc. He go to Philippines right away, he want a black label in the table. Night club. Number one customers for prostitution is coming from Saudi Arabia in those countries. I remember once a Saudi in the in the restaurant. He asked the waitress. Uh, he have two hookers with him in the table. They are Saudi. You can tell from their accent. And they have whiskey. They have. And then he asked the waitress, "Do you have halal food?" 
Like what the what? Look look how he is how conservative he is. He don't eat pork, my friend. He have hookers with him. You can tell they are hookers. And he have whiskey, expensive quality, and now he's asking for halal food. And yet they blame who? They blame the women. Actually, in the when I was in the Philippines, you know, when you see it as a foreigner, and me, because supposedly I'm a Middle Eastern, as you know, so I, I noticed that all prostitution, when they walk by prostitute, they say, Hi, Habibi, they speak Arabic. Yeah, for sure they speak Arabic. Their customers are Arab. We are number one customers. Once there was a Abdul, he's a Saudi, and uh, he sat next to me in the coffee shop, and he have supposedly a girl with him. And I look at the girl. She this is not a girl. This is a lady boy. I said to myself, maybe this idiot did not know that this is a guy, not a girl. So the lady boy went to the uh, bathroom, uh, and he's alone. So he, you know, uh, you know, we talk, etc. I told him, by the way, the one with you is not a girl. You know that, right? And he looked at me, and he said, and what's your business? What's your business? And then the lady boy came, and then he whispered to her, and the lady boy looked at me, and look, almost want to kill me, you know? He told her, that's all told him, that this guy, he told me that you are not a girl, you know? I thought this guy, he did not know, maybe he will go to the bedroom now, and he will find a surprise, surprise. <laughs> but look like, this is what he like, this is what they like. Actually, number one, uh, contract uh, uh, like uh, hiring for for people in the in Saudi Arabia is for gays why because they can take them sleep with them and then they will not be accused of uh, like if you sleep with a woman she can be she can carry your child and you cannot you know you will be in, in trouble it's a gay it's a guy he can come to his house anytime he can come to your house anytime he can sleep over and nobody will complain this is that this is the mentality of the society there is a video I published long time ago that in the city of Jeddah, more than 45%, more than 45% of the population of Jeddah, they have a sexual relationship, male to male, and mostly it's a family member with family member. Not only which mean with a stranger, even family member, because everything is locked inside the walls. Female with female, male with, me, with male. This is a society where you can, if you are a female, you can invite your cousin to sleep with you in the bed. They allow that. And she's a female. It's okay. But don't those two females, they never saw a man. The, you, encourage, you, 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 you encourage, sorry, you encourage uh, uh, such a behavior in the society because you don't allow the men to see women and women to see men. So women, they go to women and men, they go to men. And then they grow like that. And because the society have such a culture that, okay, you are a girl. Oh, you want to invite your friend to sleep over? Oh, okay, she's a girl. Okay, she can come. And then the family, they agree. They know the family. They trust the family. So the girls, they go. And then they go in the bedroom and they start doing things. They are teenage and they want to try something. So Islamic society, for sure, provide no solution. This is why in Islamic society, you cannot trust your wife walking alone. You can go right now and search sexual harassment in Egypt. You will find thousands of men walking behind the women. That's just because she is wearing the jeans. Same in Saudi Arabia. Thousands. I'm not talking about 10 people, 5 people. I'm talking about literally thousands. It's a chaos. You think there's like a revolution happening. You think there's people are striking against the president or something. It is just the women walking in the street. Because this is what Islam does. So, uh, I hope we learn that we cannot really accept Islam to be uh, something to learn from. And there is no way Islam can be something to learn from. I never, uh, you know, I never really saw anything good about this religion to learn from. What we can learn from this religion? I don't see anything.
So we have to be careful and we have to be smart and we have to use our brain and not to let them to destroy you know the the, the human being inside us and let the animal grow because you are the one who can control when you want to be an animal and when you want to be a human otherwise uh, everyone can rape everyone can kill everyone can steal the difference between us and animals that we control ourselves so if we have such a man like this following such a religion saying that we should punish women for seducing men that's mean he is encouraging the animal to be an animal and he is punishing the victim for being a woman that's the whole story women is the one to blame thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and ante will see you again maybe tomorrow christ is lord islam is false and see you soon thank you